Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show you boss fighting stages on scratch. So first is the engine. I recreated the classes, added bad mobile controls, and invincibility mode. The engine is not too much, but it works. It's just an infinite night spawner. You use A and D to move, space to jump, Q and D to strafe, and Z or X to use your abilities. You can open the shop to buy mist leads. More specifically, the heal. Well I think that's it for the engine, let's get on to some bosses. The first boss is Azuroth from chapter 3. His attacks and health are the same as in the game. Let's get him down to half health for a surprise. But if you play the game, you would know what this is. There, he switched to his crisis mode. I will explain the changes in a little bit. But let's get on to the next boss. I don't want to stay here too long. Hey, you. Did you know that you are probably not subscribed? What are you waiting for? Do it now. Also, like the video and hit the notification bell. Back to the video. And for crisis mode changes, he attacks every 3 instead of 7 seconds. Now it's time for Arcane Warlock, his attacks are very similar to the original game. It took a while to get one of his attacks so when the other attacks go, I will just cut the video. Okay, now let's move on to the last one. It took me quite some time to make the engine. Now it's time for the D Zadon fight, his attacks should be very similar. It should be of note that the blast surge does not kill on contact. If it did, it would be impossible to survive. There you go, the fight takes some time. Also, there is one more fight that I want you to experience yourself. It is very hard and I had to pull some strings to make it more fair. I will link all projects and the studio in the description so you can play them. Also, I will link the music in the description. Well, that is the end of the video. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Until next time, bye.